ethical oil in Canada. We have tar sands oil, which is like regular oil, but a whole lot dirtier. It ravages the earth as it is extracted, ravaging bodies, ravaging the land, and it also threatens the earth when it is transported in pipelines like the proposed Keystone XL pipeline. It threatens waterways, drinking supplies, ranches, the land that people and animals depend on. The vast majority of Canadians care deeply about climate change. They show it with their actions, but it doesn't matter because of the tar sands, because it undoes all of the actions that we do as individuals, because our national emissions are still up 30% from the time we signed the Kyoto Protocol and all that time we've made a mockery of that agreement and a mockery of international law. So here's the other thing they're telling us. They're telling us that this will create jobs and how dare we stand in the way of jobs during an economic crisis. We know that the same economic logic that puts greed above all and liberates corporations, that that same economic model that is threatening to crash the global climate system is exactly what crashed the global economic system, which is why we don't have enough jobs. So because we can't appeal to them, we need a strategy to strangle the tar sands from the outside. We need to cut off the arteries that are fueling this monstrosity. First and foremost, the Keystone XL pipeline, which will never be built if we have anything to say about it. We know that we can do better, that we do not have to attack our Earth with ever greater violence in order to live happily and fulfilled. We know that there are energy sources based on renewing and amplifying life, not sucking it dry. Let us labor with all our hearts for this new day.